Hey everybody, how's it going? It is yours truly, the baddest, and I got a really short, awesome video for you guys. I'm going to be talking about the AR-15 Master Bench Block. So if you've done any research on AR-15 tools, or maybe you've watched a bunch of gun videos, and you've seen, you know, uh, the, the guys in the video, uh, you see their workshop, and you always see like this, like, hockey puck type thing laying around, and with a bunch of holes in it, or maybe you've seen this specific product, and you're probably wondering what that is. Well, these are, um, uh, bench blocks or uh, punch blocks, whatever. I mean, they go by different names. Um, and they're essentially used for removing pins from the AR-15. Well, f this is specific to the AR-15. Some punch blocks are for like, uh, I've seen some for pistols, you know, that sort of thing. Um, but Real Avid released the master bench block. This is the master of them all. And I tend to agree. This is a wonderful product. Uh, it's well made. It's uh, you, it's rubberized on the end and on the, on the center it's like this nylon plastic type material. So you, you're not going to be marring or leaving blemishes on your firearm or your firearm products, which is wonderful because you don't want that. Duh. So um, what, what can you do with this thing? Well, it tells you right here. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. Let me go ahead and bring this up closer to you. I'm um, using my monitor here. So if you can see clearly uh, throughout this uh, master bench block, there's a bunch of writing on it. So let me go ahead and put, put this down, and I'm going to just run through with it really quickly. So right here, the upper receiver would go. Uh, right here, this would be for the charging handle. And then, of course, the, the business end of the charging handle will be uh, laid down right here. So that's this end. So just like that. I'm going to demonstrate how the punch block works in a second. Uh, so the lower receiver would go right here. So let me let me show you exactly what that would look like. So I have a lower receiver right here from Aero Precision. It is stripped. Of course, if it is not stripped, it's not a big deal. Uh, this should fit most billet lowers, but I know there's some firearms or some lower receivers that like, have all this wonky shit on it, like the skull or the the Ro the was it like the Roman soldier, the Spartan soldier, or whatever. Uh, that might be a little challenging. So. Bam, this is, uh, it's on there securely. I'm moving uh, violently back and forth. Uh, it's really difficult to move it, or if I try to move it forward. Uh, of course, you're not gonna be doing that. That's not how the, the you know, the this is supposed to be used. But I'm just giving you an example. So I was being pretty aggressive with it. Let me go ahead and remove it. And of course, this is fine. Um, so now when uh, you have your lower receiver, let's say your upper receiver on the bench block, now you have access to, you know, the pins right here for the trigger guard. If you have, or not the trigger guard, uh, the for the trigger assembly. And then right here, you would install like a trigger guard. Well, if you want to remove the pin or even install a pin, uh, you would want to use this block. You definitely want the, you know, support for the, for, for the, for this trigger. Um, or, or you can, you know, damage it. I've, I've seen people damage it. Uh, what else do you have? Um, yeah, so of course you can also put it in a different configuration right here. And you can work on it this way. And of course, you can actually have it more secure. So right down here at the bottom, there's a little groove. So if you have the takedown pin installed, you would just place it, uh, place the, the lower receiver just like this, push the pin in, and of course, there's space for your finger to push it in. And it's going to be locked in place. This is a wonderful product, man. This is so cool. It's so useful. Let me go ahead and put this away. Now I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate why this is uh, more useful than it looks. The thing about the, the bench block, you have all these grooves, you see all these holes. That's not a mistake, guys. It's not a mistake. See, when you, when you punch pins and, and remove accessories from the AR-15, things fly around everywhere. Things get lost. That's why there's a lot of uh, options online to buy, you know, bulk pins, bulk springs, yada, yada, yada. Okay, well, this will make it so you're not going out and spending all this money on products or having to go to the store and buy springs because you lost them. So the holes down here... Um, or, or the holes up here lead to lead to the the surface of your your workspace, and it's going to hold it in place. Nothing here is magnetic or anything. I I tested it, but um, you know there are pin uh, there is a, a place right here for pin storage, and of course uh, this is going to prevent it. Uh, oh, never mind. There, there is uh, magnets here. I lied. I apologize for that. Um, <laughs> right here, though, the center, the epicenter of the the, ben the master bench block is not magnetic, but the sides are. So these, so your pins are not going to go anywhere. And of course, if you're working on a surface like this, you do not want the bench block between two pieces of wood, or 
you know, if you're unlucky, your pin's gonna, you know, get wedged between the, you know, the, the cracks here, the, the crevices, and you'll have to get a magnetic tool, or maybe it's below your workbench, and it's, it might get lost, and it's gonna be a pain in the butt. So just avoid that. Leave it right here uh, where it's nice and flat and solid. Let's go ahead and uh, demonstrate how this works. So I'm gonna get this Cerakoted uh, black. Let's go ahead and get the appropriate pin, and let's see if we can remove this. All right, so there's a uh, spring tension here, so nice and slowly. All right, so I removed the, the latch, and there's a big spring, and it's going to come out right now. Gee, I wonder where my pin is. Ta-da! That's how you use a master bench block. Now, you can do this with the uppers, lowers, uh, you know, so on and so forth. Uh, it's really straightforward, guys. Really straightforward. If you got the right tools, and if you're smart, you read the instructions, anything is possible. You're going to make an awesome AR-15. This isn't that expensive. It's mostly rubber, plastic, and I guess some magnets. It's like 30 bucks. Real Avid sells them. Some local gun stores carry them. So check online. See if, uh, or check, uh, you know, check with your local gun stores. Uh, always shop locally. Support American. I am done here. I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, yeah, y'all have a good one. Peace.